Welcome to Bedtime Tales for Kids. Tonight we will be reading The Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Little Red Riding Hood. She lived in a village with her mother and grandma. One day, Little Red's mother asked her to take a basket of food to her grandma who lived in the forest. Little Red was so excited to deliver the basket to her and set off to the forest with a smile on her face. On the way, she saw some pretty flowers and decided to pick some for her grandma. She didn't realize that a wolf was sleeping right beside her. The smell of the fresh bread in the picnic basket woke the wolf up. He asked Little Red where she was going. She told the wolf that she was going to her grandma's house to drop off some food. The wolf had a sneaky plan. He told Little Red that he knew a shot cut to her grandma's house and asked her to follow him. But Little Red's mother had told her not to talk to strangers, so Little Red said, No thank you, I will stick to the path that my mother told me to follow. And continued on her way. The wolf disguised himself as a kind old man and knocked on Little Red's grandma's door. He told her that he had found Little Red's basket and asked if she wanted it back. The grandma, not suspecting anything, opened the door and the wolf gobbled her up. When Little Red arrived at her grandma's house, she was so happy to see her and give her the basket of food. She did not know that the wolf had disguised himself as her grandma. She looked at her grandma very carefully and noticed that she had very big eyes. She then looked at her grandma's teeth and noticed that her teeth were very sharp. She then looked at her grandma's back and noticed that she had a tail. That is when Little Red realized what had happened. This was not her grandma. She quickly ran back to her village to tell everyone what had happened. The villagers came together and worked to defeat the wolf and save Little Red's grandma. With the help of the villagers, Little Red was able to rescue her grandma and defeat the wolf. The wolf was never seen or heard from again. Little Red's grandma was grateful for her bravery and the kindness of the villagers. The moral of the story is still the same. It's important to listen to your parents and not talk to strangers. Little Red was smart to follow her mother's instructions, but she also learned to be brave and think quickly when faced with danger. She also learned the importance of working together and helping others in need. From that day on, Little Red Riding Hood was known as the bravest little girl in the village. She would often tell the story of her adventure to the other children, and they would listen and all. So, remember kids, always listen to your parents and never talk to strangers. Stay safe just like Little Red Riding Hood, and always be ready to help others and work together when needed. The End